Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today I'm going to show you guys my top five Samsung One UI 2.5 features. Now, there's many phones that have Samsung One UI 2.5, the Galaxy S20 series, the Note 20 series, the Galaxy Z Flips, the Galaxy Z Fold, and just recently added the Galaxy S10 series and the Note 10 series. Now, there's a lot of change between Samsung One UI 2.1 and 2.5. Now, the top five is not in any particular order, so I'm just going to start off with feature number one that has been changed and that's going to be inside of the camera with the shooting mode of single take. So single take is one of those shooting modes that I think is just fantastic. It's a way that it's able to do everything for you. You hit the shutter button once and then for a dedicated time, it'll capture all of the pictures, all of the videos for you. It'll also put in different filters. It's actually really fun if you have not played with it. Now the biggest change between Samsung One UI 2.1 and 2.5 will be the dedicated time of shooting. So originally by stock, it is 10 seconds. You are able to move it now down to five seconds and all the way back up into 15 seconds. So originally by stock with it only doing 10 seconds, let's say that there's something in front of you and there's a lot of action, you hit the button once, you'll probably get eight different images and three videos. When you bring it down to five seconds, which is new, then you're able to maybe get about five images and two videos. When you go back up into 15 seconds, it's just gonna give you more, a more solid, all around look of all the pictures and videos, making sure that none of those is gonna be blurry for you. It's taking more time to grab awesome photos and more filters. So I think it's really cool that they're able to extend it by an additional five seconds. So if you have not played with this already, make sure you go inside of single take, tap on this icon here and switch it from the 10 seconds. Oh, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you appreciate these videos, these tips, tricks, and tutorials, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now for feature number two, we're gonna stay inside of the camera. We're gonna move right over inside of Pro Video. So the biggest difference between Samsung One UI 2.1 and 2.5 will be all of the brand new camera features. You saw the change with single take. There's a massive change with Pro Video. Now inside of Pro Video, the one that I do wanna talk about will be the audio capture. So you are able to change if you wanted the audio to be captured omni, which means the front and rear of your phone. Maybe you only wanna capture more audio from the front of the phone. Maybe you wanna capture it in the rear of the phone. But my favorite feature, which is number two, will be the option of Bluetooth. Now, the reason why that this is a big deal is because maybe you're setting your phone up somewhere. Uh, maybe you want it to also be in frame. Maybe you're across the room. Maybe you're outside, you're doing something. But now you're able to have a connected Bluetooth device be the audio capture. So I placed my Galaxy Buds Plus inside of my ear and it's given you the ability of switching it over inside of Bluetooth. Now, once you're inside of Bluetooth, this is where you can change the, uh, you know, how much audio is being captured. If you need it to capture a little bit less, you can go to negative 12 decibels. Now, if you bring it up over inside of that positive 12 decibels, you can see that that line is quite large now. Uh, and it's because it's just coming right from where my ear is. So I'm able to be, you know, 25 feet away, 20 feet, 30 feet away from my phone and have really good audio without having to yell across the room. Now, this one is gonna be feature number two. The reason why I love Samsung One UI 2.5 is with me doing YouTube, with me shooting a whole bunch of different scenes. It's just a, a game changer when you're able to use a Bluetooth headset as the audio capture. Now, if you don't see where you can find pro video, you don't see where you can find single take, all you'd have to do is just go right along your shooting mode line right here, go underneath the more tab. You'll see all your shooting modes over here that's not already down. You're able to drag and drop it, place it down, and then you are good to go. Feature number three that made it inside of the top five will be inside of the Samsung keyboard. So it doesn't matter if you're using Google Messages or if you're using a different application. As long as you're using the Samsung keyboard, which you're able to choose right there on the bottom by choosing that little keyboard icon, well, underneath the More tab right up over here, you're able to have the option of YouTube. Now, because I am a YouTuber, or maybe it's just because I'm a normal human being who watches YouTube, usually I like to share some of the videos that I like. You're able to take a look at some of the popular videos that's on the trending page, but you'd also have that search button. Underneath the search button, you can already see my history is just my name right there, so Jimmy Promo. Uh, and then you're able to go off and send videos of whatever you're trying to find. Now, the thing I love about it is, let's say I wanted to share this video right there specifically. I'm able to share this video without having to leave the application 
go into a different application, find it, then hit the share button, then go through, send it to the, this person I want to send it to, and so on and so forth. It's just really easy without leaving the application. You're sending whatever video you wanted to find right there at the ease of your fingertips. Feature number four that made it to the top five will be a way that you're able to find your phone offline and also other Samsung phones. So all you'd have to do is go inside of your settings. You can go to your biometrics and security. Now inside of here, you wanna to go to Find My Mobile. Now Find My Mobile is a way that you're able to unlock your phone remotely. So if you don't know where your phone is, you're able to go to findmymobile.samsung.com. You're able to find your phone, see where it last was. You can unlock it. Maybe you didn't lose your phone. It's just sitting at home. Somebody needs to get into your phone. You're at work. For some reason, you left your phone there. You're able to remotely unlock it. You can send the last location. So once your battery gets down to a certain battery percentage point, it's able to send its last location to you so you know where it was. But this is the biggest one that was added in that is brand new for Samsung One UI 2.5 and that is offline finding. Now inside of here you're, it gives you the ability to allow your phone to be found by other people's Galaxy devices even when it's not connected to a network. It will also allow your phone to be used to scan for lost nearby Galaxy devices that may be nearby. You can also find watches and earbuds if this was the last device that they were connected to. Now if you wanted to encrypt the offline location for added security you can encrypt your phone's offline location when it's sent uh, to Find My Mobile by other Galaxy devices. Now, the only thing is that when you do turn this on, you want to put in a six digit pin. And then this one will also be a pin that will be used for all of your Galaxy devices registered underneath your Samsung account. If you don't need to decrypt uh, or encrypt your phone right here, you don't need to. But this is a really nice thing that just to turn on because if you're around a whole bunch of other people uh, or just within an area of a phone or accessory that was lost, uh, your phone would actually be able to help them find it. Now this last feature that will round out the top five, we're gonna go right back inside of the camera. Now usually every single time that you use your camera, it always goes back inside of photo. But let's say that you're somebody who always uses single take, and then maybe you go through and you set this one up, you find out that 13 seconds is perfect for whatever you capture. You take your single take option, you get out of your camera, you close out of everything. 10 minutes later, another situation pops up where it's perfect for single take. Once you open up the camera, boom, it goes right back inside of that last used camera mode along with whatever changes you've made. So how you're able to make this uh, change, this little setting as you go inside of the settings on the top left hand side, You'll scroll all the way down and you'll take a look for settings to keep. So this will keep every single shooting mode, change, setting, whatever, the moment that you get out of the camera. So you're able to save the camera mode. You can also even save your selfie angle as well as filters. So let's say for example, you went inside of your camera, you went over into selfie and underneath the selfie mode, you always uses uh, the wide angle and maybe even a filter. You'll actually be able to save all three of those because all of these are stackable. So I'm not really somebody who uses filters, so I'm gonna leave it there. Now, what I'm talking about with that selfie camera and the selfie angle, let's say that you're inside of the selfie mode right here. Uh, this is gonna be what it's normally on every time you open the camera, but if you need it to be a little bit more wide to bring in a uh, another friend, then it's able to save all this for you. So again, we are wide. We're also on the selfie underneath photo. Now, if I was to close out of this, go right back inside of the camera, you're gonna see it goes right back to that last shooting mode along with that wide angle that we have set up. So it's actually very helpful underneath the uh, settings to keep. Just go right there underneath the settings inside your camera. You'd be able to turn on anything that you would like uh, and it does a fantastic job. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.